the term sheet is probably the single most important document and signing the term sheet effectively uh, gets the two of you together on the same table to say okay now we're going to discuss the real uh, legal issues the financial issues and finally uh, it's the first step that takes you to the shareholder agreement the term sheet is a gist of everything that is going to be in the shareholder agreement so signing the term sheet also in the first time i think it took us a long time to sign the term sheet and as well as the second time primarily because uh, it's well you have a the term sheet um, you have to go through every point it's a it's a summary of uh, so it can be really expanded into many many uh, meanings and you have to be very sure of uh, what you're signing on so the discussion of the term sheet and the uh, talking about it internally with your legal advisors with your investment bankers with your partners with your everything it takes a very time consuming process but uh, we you know we also tend to go back to the to the investor and say okay this point is not acceptable to us then there is a discussion on that point then we say okay this point is acceptable to us then he says oh no this is not acceptable to us so it keeps happening back and forth and then finally you arrive at a at a single term sheet where the valuation is written on it where the what are they going to offer us what are the terms going to be by and large it's a summary and everything is in that term sheet <clears throat> it is the first step towards going ahead with the shareholder agreement now when we sign the term sheet and then after the term sheet is signed then the due diligence happens as a business due diligence there's a financial and uh, um, legal due diligence and their people will come they'll check your documents and they'll be in your office it's it's not really where you spend a lot of time doing that a lot of time is really spent doing that and especially as a small small promoter initially it is very difficult for you to sit with them show them everything and the first time over we had a lot of time we spent doing this uh, of course in the second time also i mean not everything is uh, you know we still have to Uh, put in a lot of effort towards okay does he need something else what can we speak to him talking on the, on the phone speaking to him on uh, uh, talking sending emails that this has been sent now do you need this document send us that document a lot of time really is consumed uh, you know in this whole process and uh, one has to understand that this is not something which you can get away with you have to do it i mean it's not something which you can uh, in, in any kind of an agreement this is compulsory because everybody wants to protect uh, protect themselves and they want to be sure of where they investing it of course the next step being the shareholder agreement it takes a long long time to do that because the shareholder agreement is between two lawyers and the two lawyers will constantly be uh, conflicting and talking about two different angles there'll be millions of discussions that will be happening there will be thousands of meetings constantly um, uh, you know planned that now we'll have a call then we'll talk to this person then you have to talk to so and so person in uh, uh, you know investor committee somewhere else and it's a very tedious process at the end of the day the term sheet at uh, the term sheet you find is ex- very simple the shareholder agreement is very exhaustive you have to go through it point by point word by word and at the end of it you will realize that there are so many things that you have discussed so many things that you would know ultimately the shareholder agreement by heart and uh, you know when you sign the shareholder agreement you are pretty much you know it's like a marriage you are pretty much uh, signed up to one another and uh, it is uh, like a it's a union and uh, automatically the person in the organization as well as the investor they become partners in the company uh, however this partnership is not really like a partnership between your promoters because ultimately an investor is not really you know at the same level as your partners he is always going to be uh, demanding slightly he is going to keep asking you for documents keep asking you for mis uh, he will want details but it's not something which is it, it's, it's good it puts a lot of discipline into you and uh, you tend to actually grow the organization very systematically it really improves a lot of things so uh, you know the shareholder agreement and uh, all this ultimately leads towards a much more uh, corporatized structure and the uh, investment coming in and the equity uh, infusion will obviously you know give you a lot of growth prospects and this is something which we have gone through not once but twice over mm-hmm.